Hi and welcome to Miss Gayla's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making ensalada chilena, which is a tomato and onion salad that my mother-in-law has been making for us for years. Let's get started. The list of ingredients you will need for your tomato salad are one large sweet onion, a fourth a cup of coarsely chopped cilantro, five large red tomatoes, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, a fourth a cup of olive oil, and some kosher salt to taste. This is a really easy salad and it keeps really well and it almost gets better with a little bit of time. The only thing that's specific is the way the, both the onion and the tomato are cut. They call it a feather cut and all that means is that the onion and the tomato are cut like this. They're not sliced like you would for like a hamburger or a sandwich, but they're feathered. Take some of the paper skin off. You don't want that. And I've cut one of the sides flat, and that just kind of holds it, um, makes it a little bit more steady on my cutting board. And I'm going to go ahead with my feather cuts. You can make them as thin or as thick as you like. A little kitchen tip that I know, and maybe other people know it as well, is that when you purchase your onions, if you put them in the refrigerator, they won't make your eyes tear up when you're cutting them. I'm going to go ahead and put this, these slices in this little container, because we're going to rinse the onion with some water, and pat them dry with a paper towel, and kind of squeeze them to get some of the pungent odor flavor out and make them a little bit sweeter for the salad. So I'm going through and I'm just making sure they're pretty uniformly sliced. Again, I just want that little feather look. And there's a couple of different ways you can do to take off some of the strong onion flavoring. A lot of times I saw that my mother would put a container with cold water she cover it and put it in the refrigerator for an hour or so, and that does work very well. But if you're in a little bit of a hurry, there's another way you can do it. Go ahead and cover it. I'm going to let it sit while we chop our tomatoes, and then afterwards I'll get a paper towel and I'll squeeze some of the flavoring out of the onion, and it actually makes the sweetness come out. Now I'm going to start feathering my feather cutting my tomatoes. I like to core out this uh, stem part. A lot of people, it doesn't bother, but for me, I like it out. You're going to need a nice sharp knife. Oh, I forgot. I like to take off a little bit of the skin. The classic Chilean recipe, the whole tomato is skinned, but I like to leave a little bit of the skin on it. So I just peel a little bit off in certain spots, and then I leave a little bit of the skin on. Go ahead and cut your tomato in half, and then get your tomato slice nice and thin. That nice feather cut. So I'm going to chop my cilantro. If you like it, you can add more then a fourth a cup, and if you don't, you can reduce it down or use another spice like parsley or chives. And again, it's just kind of coarsely chopped, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and now we're going to drain the onions and kind of squeeze them with the paper towels. Again, the squeezing of them just kind of makes a little bit of that sweetness come out. Sprinkle that right in there. And if you find a big one, go ahead and cut it a little bit smaller. You want the tomato and the onion about similar size. And if you think a whole onion is too much, only use a half. I 
I think that looks about right. Now I'm going to sprinkle my cilantro over the top. My fourth a cup of olive oil. Again, it's two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. If you don't have red wine and you just have white vinegar, that's fine. Even add apple cider vinegar. Either any of those will do. Tomatoes are so healthy for you. They're actually better for you than apples. Most people don't know that. So the salad is that easy to make. It's delicious, healthy, and I hope you all enjoy it.